Welcome to Celebrating Act Two. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life. Well, good morning. Uh, good morning. Today we're with uh, John Coleman and Liz Lister, our special guest, returning contributor. Dr. Liz, welcome. Good to see you again. Well, likewise, nice to see you too. So we are in the age of COVID-19, the coronavirus. I am, as we do this video, uh, we are about what are two weeks two into weeks, a yeah. three week into a three week what they say will be a three week sequester. I said I rounded out to three weeks. It's supposed to be the famous 15 days, but um, we wanted to get a medical professional's perspective on where where we are but really not where the whole country is we can get that on television every day uh we wanted to get your perspective as a medical professional in the bay area now the bay area is a a hot spot uh you're outside of uh san francisco what's the what's the most affected area is it oakland or san francisco or it's santa clara county actually john which is a little bit south of here we're in san mateo county and uh, Santa Clara County is <clears throat> has been the hardest hit of this Bay, San Francisco Bay Area. So this area, all the counties in Northern California went into shelter in place uh, before the whole state of California. I think what you said, things were moving so quickly. I've, I've kind of lost track a little bit. I believe that the state went into shelter in place about eight days ago from when we were taping this and then but our area went into shelter in place a little bit even before that. That's good. How has your practice been affected? You've got uh, hundreds of patients, I imagine. Yes, I have been uh, fortunate because I already did a lot of my practice virtually on the phone or by Zoom. So I have just ramped that up. Uh, I've made changes in the office itself so to protect my staff. Uh, I have a small practice. I have two staff people, and we are now, we're never all three of us here at the same time in order to minimize uh, our own interactions and touching the same things. Uh, of course, we're all sheltering in place at home, uh, so just doing what we can uh, to keep the traffic, the foot traffic, as absolutely minimal as possible. Uh, Dr. Liz, the principle that everybody's working on of isolating uh, when you have a, a, a virus that can spread like this, of yeah. isolating the, the patient, if you will, um, is a old tried and true practice that we know works. Right. Is it? Do you think it's working here now, particularly in your area? Yes, I do think it's working in this area. I think that... Uh, people are protecting themselves by staying home. I think they understand that. Um, I always like to back up a step and say that the problem number one, you've heard this virus being referred to as the novel coronavirus. And what that means is that when this virus appeared, as far as we know, it appeared in December. That's when we first detected people getting sick from it in China. And that, at that time, zero out of almost 8 billion people on the planet had any immunity, had any antibodies to this virus. <clears throat> That's what novel virus means, that it's brand, brand new on the scene. So that's issue number one. And issue number two is that most people who contract the virus won't have significant symptoms. These two factors combined are what make this such a huge challenge. So we have to stay away from each other because at this point in time, at least in the U.S., we're, we're working on ramping up the testing, but we have a long way to go with that, so we don't know who has it and who doesn't. But, uh, so right. it, it, are out there walking around with the virus. That's right, so they don't know, but they're still commu they're, they're communicating it. They're, they're spreading it. That's the problem. Yeah. Okay. And by the way, and, uh, just, as a quick, just as a quick note, uh, you are seeing patients, correct? Yes, I'm seeing a, only a few patients in the office. Mm -hmm. uh, I've also done blood draws on my patients for those of my folks who 
aren't comfortable going to a regular lab. Um, what matters the most with me and my patients is our keeping our communication open, uh, staying in touch with each other. So I just have us focusing on doing everything we can just to support people. If they have to postpone their care, that's not a, a deal breaker. Uh, however, I am encouraging my own patients uh, to do the consultation with me because I have so much I can advise them on um, person by person on what to do, how to stay safe, and what to expect. Uh, Dr. Liz, have you had any of your patients uh, prove positive for coronavirus? Not that I know of thus far. There's a possibility for doctors to be able to get the test kits. I've been researching that very vigorously this week. Uh, there are quite a few tests out there. Uh, my last count was about 16 uh, tests that are available. Zero tests are approved by the FDA. These 16 tests are what are called emergency use authorized. Yeah. We have emergency use authorization. They appear to be proper tests. Sadly, there's also shysters out there who are hawking uh, tests that aren't valid. So if a person does get a test, it, it definitely needs to be uh, obviously through a licensed healthcare provider and not just from the internet. Uh, sure. From, a, don't, from don't. your standpoint, uh, we hear a lot about PPEs, the protective, uh, how are you doing? How are you wearing a mask and gloves when you see, uh, I assume that you're not shaking hands or hugging anymore. Correct, correct. And I'm trying to keep the door propped open. I'm trying to uh, have as few of us touch as few items as humanly possible, right? If I'm expecting a patient to come into the office, I've got the door propped open ready for her uh, and, you know, covering everything with gloves and handing, I can hand my patient gloves if, if necessary, if they need to touch anything. So that's, that's what we're doing. Just the protective equipment, uh, again, it's a really urgent issue for the doctors and nurses on the front lines who are in the emergency rooms, the hospitals. Uh, that That's where you're hearing and reading about uh, what's happening with shortages and urgent need for those types of uh, items. But my, my practice is low tech, so I have the N95 mask if I do uh, end up having the COVID-19 tests available, I will be prepared with the right uh, equipment for that. Good, good. Um, what can uh, what advice are you giving your patients that you can share with our viewers that will apply to them? What, what should we be doing at this point in time? Okay, a number of pieces of advice that are being shared all over the place. Uh, number one, I think it's really helpful to keep a routine. I did a webinar last week with a friend who, her, she works from home. She's worked from home for 20 years. So she gave a lot of really good tips and advice. And the first one was keeping a routine, get up in the morning, shower, put on clothes. <laughs> okay. You know, maybe not full makeup type of thing for the women, but uh, just just enough to say, okay, I'm starting my day. Okay, and, and to feel normal. And to feel normal. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. The second is <laughs> striving to keep some degree of boundaries. This is what I'm struggling with uh, because I'm now doing more on the phone. I teach a class and I had to adapt the class for the students. So I just feel like I'm on my computer even more now. I think that's true for many people. And uh, so trying to keep some types of office hours, even though you might be in your own home. So some, some type of schedule. Another is protecting your sleep and your food schedule, your food content, I should say, right? I know uh, it's true for myself too. You know, I'm... When I'm at my office, I'm not around the snacks that might be at my house. So I have to manage myself with that. And so everyone talks about the quarantine 15 uh, or, or even more than that. 
Uh, everyone's worried about bread running out, and I think it's a great time to try to not eat bread. I know. Good advice. And, Good advice. and probably not to eat a lot of other things. I went through a tube of Ritz crackers the other day, <laughs> and I haven't had Ritz crackers in years. I know. Exactly. It's very trying times. And that's another tip uh, that I think is important, is to understand that we didn't choose this. It's all well and good that I'm spending time at home and I got my CD project done, my, my music CD collection project that I had been looking at for about three years. Finally I, cataloged. Oh, no, no, I sent them all off to be digitized. Oh, oh. They're, they're wow. gone, end, end of an era. You are behind this. The curve, I yeah. I'm very behind. Very but, behind. But, 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 uh, so, Dr. Lewis, yeah. um, yes. I actually saw, I actually linked to a lot of your uh, activities through LinkedIn, uh, which is where I've actually been following you for a couple of years before we started this series with you. And um, uh, do you have a website uh, uh, that they can go to so they can find links to that? I, I saw that wonderful uh, thing you did on what people can do today to stay safe. And also, uh, I, it was probably Facebook that I saw you sending out your CD collection to get digitized. But they're a lot of fun. Uh, where, where can people uh, go to find all these things? The best place to start is my website, which is www.drlizmd.com, D-R-L-I-Z-M-D.com. That has people a way for people to email me directly. It has links to all the social media. And, uh, and I'm Dr. Liz Lister on most of my social media, Twitter and Facebook and Instagram and all those fun places that we're spending a little bit too much time on these days, I think. <laughs> Great. Dr. Liz, this has been wonderful. Thank you so much. So thank you, uh, Dr. Liz, for another great session and informative. And I, I hope we'll get this one out actually tonight because it's really timely. Uh, any yeah. last words you have for us before we go? Yes. My favorite quote right now is, stay safe, stay home, stay positive. Thank you. Excellent. See you soon. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.